What's up, ladies and gentlemen, on Team Forbidden's YouTube page, as I said, or some of the fanatic. Thank you for tuning in here with a deck profile for something I don't believe we have on the channel yet. Uh, but if we do, here's the updated version of it post uh, Savage Strike. It's end of the world. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, uh, I'm just going to admit this is semi casual, semi competitive. It has more of a competitive vibe because I've got the extravagances in here. But let's just start things off with the big boy himself, Demise, King of Armageddon, or Supreme King of Armageddon, beg your pardon. I mean, it's right in his effect. His name is treated as regular old Demise. Plus, you cannot have a king without a queen. Ruin, the Supreme Queen of Oblivion. Beautiful, beautiful card. I, the, long story, uh, long story short, back in the day when Shadow of Infinity first came out, Everyone's going after like Sacred Beast stuff. I went there solely for getting Demise and End of the World, Demise and Ruin, cuz these are, I I've had these since the sneak preview. So good, so awesome. Yeah, that, this is old school Demise, you know. He, uh, he's level eight, you know. He used to be limited to one for the longest time, cuz, you know, there was a whole OTK around him where you blow up the field and then metamorphosis him into Cyber Twin Dragon. He's back at three, like he should be, because Judgment Dragon was at three, and that was BS. Sorry, I still have mental scars. Uh, next, you can play these if you like. Um, nine times out of ten, they're bricks, unless you're running the hard version with the, uh, with the field spell. But I, I kind of like having them here. It's the little demise and the little ruin. This one, you get to target a ritual monster when it's sent to the graveyard, and then that monster, whenever it attacks, your opponent can't activate cards or effects. This one, whenever it activates an effect, your opponent can't respond to it. Makes Basically, you want to use this with Demise, this with Ruin, but it doesn't always work that way, unfortunately. Next, we have Incantation Nanda Engine, three Talismandra, three Candle, one Book, one Quill, and three of this guy. Again, this is more of a casual than a competitive version of it. But I'm if I want to run this deck competitive, I'm thinking of cutting the this, the the chalice slime and the candle and the other one down to like two each. One Zayborg. I only have the one, but the combos that this thing can pull off are sick. And it's not a ritual deck without three Manju. And that's it for the monster count. Really high monster count. You got the pre-preps. You got the actual preps. Yes, these are the golds. Don't at me. Don't care. The, the, I had two of the gold. I wanted to get a third. So why not? Do I even have to explain this card? It's the ritual deck. You need this card. Also, why is this card not hollow yet? This card would look beautiful as a hollow. And give two, I'm gonna be honest, if I was gonna make this deck more competitive, I'd cut this down to one. The biggest weakness of this deck, however, is that these have to equal exactly the ritual monster that you're trying to summon. And these it can exceed, but they have to be on the field. You can't tribute from your hand. And because we have the incantation, we have this card, which is really good. And to finally round off the deck, we have three Pot of Extravagance. This card is stupid expensive right now. If you can't afford it, unfortunately there are not budget options, but you could try centering the deck more around uh, Zaborg instead without the extravagances. I'll be 100% honest, all my test hands today when I was fighting the, collect the Collector, uh, I never saw this card, <laughs> but... If you get test, if you open with this card, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, that's it. It's the main deck, 40 cards. You're probably wondering, what do we have in the extra deck for this? Well, I will tell you, we have three Libe, because we have three Gustav Max. Combo. Namely, you want to go into one big boy one big girl. You do your attacks, you blow up the field, do your attacks, end of the turn, you just overlay them, and boom. And this is there for some extra spice. 
Speaking of rank tens, we have the only other good rank ten in the game. Don't at me. <laughs> and for the Zaborg, we've got three ints and this guy. So yes, I hope you have enjoyed the end of your puny, insignificant life. Probably not. You're probably going to beat this deck. It's relatively easy. It's a ritual deck, for Christ's sake. Come on. But, yeah, it's, it's one of my all-time favorites. I had to try and build it. So, yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys later.